Yes, yeah, it's a big event. Uh, in fact, it's uh, got the biggest agenda of uh, all the, the cops that they've had. And it's uh, the first time it's back in, uh, in Africa for 20 years or something like that. And to tell us a little bit more about that, we're now joined by Albi Modiso, who's a spokesperson for the Department of Environmental Affairs. Um, it's a big party, huge. It is, it is. Lots <laughs> to discuss. In the, and I guess with the amount of items on the agenda, in a short space of time, even though it goes on for two weeks? Absolutely. I mean, we, we started this last week's fr uh, Saturday. Um, the discussions have been unfolding, and uh, we, uh, today and tomorrow, it's a recess, but we're back uh, in the plenaries on Sunday. Of course, it's important for us to really celebrate this gathering because South Africa being the third mega biodiverse country in the world, it means that we are home to the, to the we are mm. third country in the world with uh, the number of uh, plants that we have, the types of plants we have, but also the number of animals that we have. And of course, for us, it serves us right because it's also for mm. good for tourism. Uh, but also, for, of course, the societies being hosted in mm. South Africa gives us an opportunity to also showcase that successful track record. And mm. of course, the, 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 what we put on the table at CITES in terms of the Cape Mountain Zebra, which has been mm. well accepted in terms of downlisting from Appendix 1 to Appendix 2, that on its own is indicative mm. of the good work we've done in terms of bringing the, the, the mountain zebra from about 500 mm. at around 1990s to 5,000 to date. What's been the feedback that you've gotten from the international community, so particularly with the cases that you've been presenting about South Africa? I think there's an appreciation, Peter, that um, you know, the issue of poaching inevitably will come up because it's, although we experience poaching in South Africa, the truth is that it's a global phenomenon. We experience it in terms of the rhino, but if you go to other parts of Africa, it's the elephants that have been targeted. Uh, but of course, the, the good work we've done in terms of uh, also increasing our elephant population has been well, uh, well recognized and recorded uh, in the IUCN report that came out. It talks to the good work we've done in Southern Africa in terms of uh, bringing, uh, increasing the population of the rhino, but of mm. course, of the, of the elephant. Of course, the, 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 the discussions are also about how to deal internationally with wildlife, illicit wildlife trade because mm. Transnational uh, um, illicit trade, it's, it's one of the key areas on the agenda, largely because, Peter, really, if people can come into your country, steal your rhino or steal your elephant tusks and go out of your country, it also means that that becomes also a national state security threat. Mm. Uh, and it's an area that you need to address, not only looking at environmental laws, but also applying all the instruments at your disposal mm. in terms of law enforcement and are, partnerships. Are we any closer to solving that conundrum? Because th there are voices saying, look, Let's legalize this, let's increase trade and make it legal, and that will stop the poaching. Uh, we've heard Southern African countries wanting, they've got stockpiles and they're saying, listen, we need to sell these, uh, let us do this legally. And then there's other voices that are not so keen on that, saying that it will make the problem worse. What was agreed, if anything? Look, the discussions are still raging, Peter. I mean, the truth is that we embrace what we refer to as sustainable utilization of natural resources. And the argument is this, that let's continue to utilize natural resources in a sustainable fashion. And that argument is also premised on the understanding that we are here today, but we need to live the, a good world and a good environment for the children who are going to be born after us, and their children as well. But the other truth is that we, we believe strongly that it's important for nations of the world to listen to us as well, because there's something we're doing right in South Africa, for an example, in terms of the rhino. Uh, there's something we're doing right in the African continent in terms of increasing terms of the number of uh, elephant population. So, so we, we believe that uh, CITES is important because it helps us all as global community members to look at uh, what we're doing in terms of the population, and it brings us into line in terms of uh, you know, the listing or downlisting. So indeed, we, we think strongly that uh, the, the issue of trade is important, although we as South Africa have not tabled trade, but mm -hmm. in principle, we support the, the trade uh, proposals. All right. Uh, a highlight this week was uh, the first ever Wildlife Crime Partnership Forum. Tell us about that. Look, the, the, the forum is also part of the... It's an recognition of the fact that, uh, Peter, the, the global phenomenon that we experience in terms of uh, illicit wildlife trade, it's, it's premised on the, on the understanding that the, the globalization, that globalization itself has resulted in... The poachers not respecting political boundaries, so they might be poaching in South Africa, but the truth is that those horns find their way out of South Africa to other mm. parts of the world, mostly in Asia and other parts of the world. So it's important to also categorize and look at what could be your transit states, which would be states that would be used by, by syndicates to move their horns or whatever illicit 
uh, a product that would have been uh, uh, taken in either its horns in South Africa or it could be pangolin in other parts of mm. the world from that particular country, past, uh, using a, part a transistor country to go to what would be called mm. a consumer state. So that categorization okay. is important because then it helps you in addressing the challenge that you're facing. All right, we've run out of time, but very quickly, um, there were 62 items, I think, on the agenda. Mm. Will you be able to get through them and will there be concrete decisions at the end of this process? We would want to see concrete decisions. We, we believe strongly that this site is, has been quite an important one for us as South Africa. But also this is South Africa and this is the home of the biggest runner population. This is the third mega biodiverse country in the world. This is the country that stands a good chance of helping the world deal with the ongoing sketch of poaching, but at the same time ensure that we conserve for tomorrow. Albi Matisse, thank you very much indeed for sharing your thoughts with us on this very important gathering that's taking place here in Johannesburg. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Peter.